All right, I get it. No more Taco Bell before the show. going on guys it's tone pepperon back again booking wcw rebooked with lieutenant chubb hey and the real sin tv yo we're finally at super brawl 8 the season finale it's been an excellent season it's been a fucking journey guys oh yes mm. a hell of a journey tonight is the culmination of everything we've been working on this whole season and i hope you guys enjoy it mm-hmm. oh this is exciting let's get let's, let's, let's get it going all right, starting this uh, pre-show off, we've got a match between the Zuna versus Wrath. Extremely short match, of course, because Yokozuna can't really, can't really hang. Can't breathe uh, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can't breathe well. <laughs> he defeats Wrath at around 5 minutes, 30 seconds, by pinfall with the Banzai drop. Good for you, Yokozuna. Good for yeah, you. Good for you. Next up on the pre-show... We got Rick Steiner versus the Great Malenko. Uh, It was like, it was almost a 15 minute match. Um, Good action, average heat. Rick Steiner, of course, beats the Great Malenko uh, by pinfall after hitting him with a flying burger shot. Oh, yes. Burger shot's deadly, dude. It is. So, in our opening match on the pay per view, we have Sheik Van Dam versus the Impact Players. Bout had solid ring action, not much in the way of heat. Uh, Sheik Van Dam defeats the Impact players in 7 minutes and 38 seconds. Rob Van Dam defeats Lance Storm with a uh, five-star frog splash. Mm, Mm, Well-deserved. Pinfall in the steel cage. Oh, yes. Oh, I can perform better in (laughs) my (laughs) brawl Okay, so... uh, so Rick Martell and Alex Wright, they come out to the ring. Um, you know, their entrances are going. It's the model citizens. Yay, yay, yay. Then, right before the match, um, Perry Saturn's music hits. But he's coming out to the ring alone. Uh, Rick Martell, of course, starts screaming, laughing. In the end, you know, Perry, you still can't get a fucking partner, you fucking idiot. <laughs> um, yeah, no. All of a sudden, Ooh, car crash right through the set. Masked man comes out of the car, unlocks the trunk. Jimmy Hart runs out to the ring. Man rips his mask off, revealing that this whole time, it's been John Cronus. That's right, boys. The Eliminators, they're back. Holy shit. Yeah, it wasn't Perry Saturn mm-hmm. after all. Mm-hmm. And Perry, of course, grabs the mic and says, get ready for total elimination. And the two run to the ring. Oh, Let's yeah, get this is going to be good. So the match itself had solid in-ring action, but not a lot in the way of heat, which, you know, that doesn't make too, too much sense considering a car just destroyed the set. I think they're in shock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Um, The Eliminators, of course, beat Alex Wright and Rick Martell, and it is beat. They beat them down. Yeah. They hit them with that total elimination. Mm Mm-hmm. Hit him total elimination, uh, and then Perry hit Rick Martell with a Death Valley driver. Talk and then oh. 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 He, he said, you know what, in in their defense, Rick said that uh, Perry wouldn't be getting up. I think Rick's not getting up. Yeah, exactly. 
That's revenge for last pay per view. He's not feeling mm-hmm. like a model citizen now, is he? No. No. So uh, after that match, we have a, an angle here with uh, Shooter McGavin walking into Adam Sandler's office. The shooter sits down across from uh, Sandler's desk and says, Hey, Sandy, just want to let you know how great it's going to be when the franchise beats your drunk, your drunk's ass tonight in the interpromotional match. Shooter then just stares dead into the camera and says, And now the fans at home can play as all their favorite wrestlers in WCW vs. NWO World Tour on the Nintendo 64 and join in on the action. It's WCW versus NWO World Tour. GamePro calls it one of the fall's hottest titles. Game Informer says it's the end-all, be-all of wrestling. Featuring over 20 of WCW's and NWO's top wrestlers. A four-player battle royal mode. And up to 40 moves per wrestler, including signature moves and foreign objects. All on Nintendo 64. Call now. 1-800-WCW-8661. Or send $69.95 to the address on your screen. Also available wherever video games are sold. Oh, man, that video game looks excellent, man. I'm going to have to try that out. Oh, mm. yes, definitely. You know what? I'm going to have to pick up, what, what, what's it called? The, uh, the M64? No, the, the N64. The, the N. N. Okay, I was a letter off. I get it. Yeah. Cra- get crazy it. controller. Interesting. Look at all these newfangled technologies. <laughs> so, uh... In the match between uh, Sandman and Shane Douglas, uh, match had good action, not a lot in the way of heat. Shane Douglas actually beat Sandman in just over 10 minutes after hitting him with a belly-to-belly suplex. Oh, man, technical. Nice Very move. technical. They don't really click. Made for an awkward bout. Well, Sandman not a was really drunk. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was really drunk. Up next, we have a triple threat tag team match for the NWA World Tag Team titles. We've got the Dudleys versus the Blue Bloods versus the Public Enemy. Ooh. Uh, Blue Ooh. Bloods defeat the Dudley Boys and Public Enemy in 14 minutes and 43 seconds. Uh, the first eliminated were the Dudley Boys and then the Public Enemy. Interesting. The Dudley Boys got taken out quick. Yeah. Damn. That's unfortunate. Public Defense Enemy, number two. Wow. Who would have thought Public Enemy would have stuck in there till the end? Yeah, they were probably just hiding while the Blue Bloods, <laughs> Blue Bloods and the Dudley Boys went at it. They yeah, got kicked I... outside and had a rest hold for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Not a 20-minute rest hold. <laughs> so, so after that match, we, we have a, a little little match here between DDP and uh, one of our favorites, uh, Kidman Romano. Jabra! <laughs> In a match that had some good action, average heat, actually, DDP ends up defeating Kidman and Romano at around 12 minutes after hitting him with a diamond cutter. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, they don't click, so it made an awkward bout. Um, But that's because uh, Kidman and Romano was more focused on yelling Debra, and DDP was more focused on self-high-fiving. Yeah, exactly. A lot of self-high-fives and... Debra's. Yeah, mid match, Kidman's just yelling. He's like, Debra, get a chair! And the ref's like, I will disqualify you. Like, <laughs> I can fucking hear you, and I will disqualify you if you bring in a chair. Debra! <laughs> uh, it was a great match, is it what was. we're saying. Definitely. Entertaining. Up next, we have the genius, mm. the absolute genius, Lanny Poffo. Versus Chris Jericho, Raven, Disco Inferno, and Davy Boy Smith in a ladder match. Ooh. Match had good action, not much in the way he, you know, people feel inferior to Lanny Poffo. I understand. Of Dude, course. Of course. Lanny Poffo wins the match at 15 minutes when uh got the item. Not sure what the item was, but he got it. Uh, diploma? College yeah, education? Yeah. University education? Definitely. A fucking chess piece was swinging over the ring. <laughs> <laughs> it was the king piece, though. Yeah, the king. Lanny Poffo is the king. Of course. <laughs> After that, we have uh, an angle here uh, with Eddie and uh, Chavo Guerrero. They come out to the ring, and Eddie's just yelling about how he's tired of having to face just cruiserweights. Um, Basically, he, he's, he states that, you know, the cruiserweight division and the title are beneath him. 
So he's scrapping the title. He's doing away with it. Mm-hmm. And uh, he reveals the new NWA International Championship title belt. Ooh. Ooh. New title. New Fancy. Title. New title. And Eddie was uh, Eddie was terrible <laughs> without a script. <laughs> His dialogue was a mess. <laughs> We're seeing an end to the cruiserweight division, though. Yeah, there is no more cruiserweight belt, so makes sense. Makes sense. So after that, we got uh, Eddie Guerrero versus Jim Duggan in a match. Um, you know, good action, not a lot of heat. Uh, Eddie Guerrero beats Jim Duggan with a frog splash, and during the match, we of course had. Uh, little nephew Chavito distract Duggan. And he came in, he ran a little bit of interference, and boom! Eddie got him and hit him with a frog splash. Oh, yeah. Events number four of the new NWA international title, the repurposed. I guess they're, yeah, title. they're considering that the Cruiserweight title just got repurposed. Yep. Yeah. Up next, we have. Macho Man Randy Savage versus Jewberg in a match Jew-berg. for the Jewberg. <laughs> Jewberg. Matches for the WCW United States title. Uh match had great action and good crowd. Jewberg actually beats Macho Man Randy Savage with the wow. Hebrew hammer. Ooh. Hits we him don't with the Hebrew hammer. We don't see the Hebrew hammer too often. No, yeah, the don't. dreidel usually ends the match. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh, he, he wins the belt. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he pulled out the big stops on this one. Very surprising. Interesting. I like that. After that, we got a, a tag team match between um, Edge and Christian and the Hard Foundation, of course. This is for the belt, uh, the, the tag team belt. And the match that had some good action, not much in the way of heat. The Hard Foundation do end up winning against Edge and Christian when uh, Christian was disqualified. Just beating the crap out of Bret Hart. He, he, Bret Hart. He, he just. He was just pummeling him. Christian snapped. They gave yeah. him a five count. They're like, I'm going to disqualify you. I, I'm serious. Yeah. Pretty yeah much. They, gave, they gave him a five count and, you know, uh, was, a little bit of an extra three count. Mm-hmm. Uh, what an ass whooping. Yeah. Nah. They yeah, didn't win the titles, though. The titles did not change hands because of disqualification. So after that, we've got uh, Scott Hall versus Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Because Kevin Nash, if you've seen last Nitro, got destroyed and cannot wrestle anymore. He's in a wheelchair. Yep, yeah, he is in a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Hulk Hogan actually wins the match by disqualification uh, because Scott Hall actually grabbed the crutches from ringside and started beating Hulk down with them. Yeah, it was like it was brutal. The yeah. the crutches and that's hard wood too. They were snapping, they were breaking. He's got splinters in his back and shit. It's mm-hmm. bad. Kevin Nash was on the outside, like break his fucking leg, Bre- <laughs> fuck his quads up, <laughs> get him in the quad. <laughs> Booked the adjective quad. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, uh, we have Scott Steiner versus Ric Flair. Ric Flair made it and showed up for the pay-per-view. They're going for the NWA World Heavyweight title. Mm -hmm. Uh, Match had great action, good crowd. Ric Flair beat Scott Steiner in 19 minutes and 58 seconds by pinfall with a surprise cradle, gave him a quick uh, roll-up. Yep. Because Ric Steiner was distracting Scott Steiner. Ric Steiner was at ringside. Uh, yeah, he was at the announcer's table. Just for some reason, had twenty five Happy Meals. <laughs> That's too many Happy Meals. Way too many. Too you know, many. Too many McNuggets. Scott starts screaming at him. He's like, "What the hell are you doing, fat ass?" And he's like, "What? They were out of regular items. I had to get Happy Meals." He's like, "That's not the fucking point." <laughs> and then he gets rolled up. Yep. Surprise win for Ric Flair. So after that, we got, of course, Sting versus Kurt Hennig. Uh, great action, good crowd. Sting obviously beats Kurt Hennig uh, when he retrieved the title belt. Uh, this was a ladder match, yeah. Um, so that makes defense number three of the WCW World Heavyweight title. Um, Rick Rude 
you know, did great work at ringside. Yeah, some good cheerleading. Yeah, yeah, good for you, Rick. It wasn't enough, though. No, it wasn't enough. Show got us a B in 80. Nice. Not too, too shabby. Increased I'll, popularity in several regions. Yeah, 20,000 people, too, at Madison Square Garden. Wow. Wow, at Madison Square Garden, dude. Yeah, we were in WWE's backyard. Wow. And fucking wrecked. <laughs> what a slap to the face. I know. Damn. But yeah, I mean, it's been a great season. Um, and honestly, guys, we got more coming for you. Just not right away. You guys are going to have to wait a little while. And we know you're going to be fiending. So don't worry. We got plenty more content coming for you. Um, I guess what else can we say here other than, uh, you know, like uh, like the video. Comment on the video. Subscribe to Tone Pepperon. If you want to see bullshit like this all the time. Um, like I said, WCW, we're going on a little break, but we're going to have plenty more content for you. We're going to be running a new series very soon. So, you know, keep posted on that. And uh, I just want to know, what is uh, what does Scott think of the pay-per-view? What happened tonight, Scott? Scott. I don't think Scott's here, guys. He must have left. He's probably pissed. <laughs> yeah, I think he's oh, pissed shit. off. Oh, shit. Matches a shoot. It wasn't in the script. 